There's been a wave of mixed economic news this week. We do have this positive, this positive sign this morning in the labor market, this jobless claims number that was the lowest, I think, in 14 years. The S&P 500 and the Dow Jones settling at the lowest level ever since April of 2014. Here's another story to look at. Crude oil. Prices have been plummeting. So, low unemployment, roller coaster market numbers, and plunging crude. To understand what these indicators mean for the U.S. economy, we also have to understand what they mean abroad. Let's start with that last one, oil. There's concern the drop in oil prices could lead to further instability for oil-dependent governments like Russia, Iraq, and Venezuela, which could result in those countries shutting down their oil fields, which would send prices soaring. And as Michael Levy of the Council on Foreign Relations told NPR, Falling oil prices might not be a boon to the U.S. economy either, particularly for the automobile industry. So you would think that with falling oil prices, people would have more money to spend, including on automobiles. But what we see historically is that when oil prices are volatile, they put a pause on any plans to buy a car or truck. As with oil prices, indicators are also mixed for the U.S. dollar. Faltering economies in Europe, a sales tax jump in Japan, and speculation of a Chinese real estate bubble are all helping to bolster the greenback. But a strong dollar could hurt American exports and therefore the American economy. As one analyst told the Washington Post, we're the best house in a bad neighborhood, but we're all interconnected. It's globalization. The European stagnation, together with promising employment numbers, has led some analysts to speculate Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen might raise interest rates sooner than later, which would reduce investment in the economy, though the Fed has done nothing to substantiate this anxiety. Perhaps the only clarity in the recent economic news is that after five years of extreme growth, the stock market might be correcting itself to better reflect the U.S. economy. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrus.